All right, I want to bring in Tim Buckley now. Tim, lots of people have asked how Helene was so strong while so far mm. inland. Even with the forecast, it seems the storm strength shocked people. Chad, it is hard to understand and certainly not what we think about when we think of hurricanes. We think of them as coastal storms, which they are, but it's not the first time one has hit the mountains very hard and it probably won't be the last time, but this is the worst that we've seen basically this generation. Let me explain why. There are a couple factors at play. Number one, before the storm even got there, we had what we would call a pre event rainfall. There was this stalled out cold front stationary front on the west side, sucking up all this tropical moisture. And so in the days leading up to it, the southern mountains got about eight to 12 inches of rain before the hurricane even got there. And then once it did, it took the exact perfect track to hit them in the hardest way possible. This low pressure over to the west, it kind of curved the storm like that. And when you're on that side, you get that wind to ride all the way up those extreme extremely tall mountains. You know how big they are four, five, six thousand feet in some places. And when you take really humid tropical air, you force it to rise up on those mountain peaks. Not only are you making it rain, you're making it rain harder than it would otherwise. This is the way it works in weather. When you bring that humid air up and you rise it and you force it to go up, you're making more condensation, more clouds, more rain and more downpours. And truly that is all what made this such a disaster with about 30 inches of rain. 70 80 mile per hour gusts on the peaks there was no chance that this wouldn't be an epic disaster and had all the ingredients to make for big problems in western north carolina that are going to last a long time